This is Cars All the Time, Car Search Engine. I'm G, your host. And I am KK, your co host. And we've got a, uh, te a test racetrack car for you that's strictly for the racetrack only because these cars, they only used them as a, uh, uh, to, test, to test the different parts of a car out on the racetrack. It's called a CERV, C E R V. CRV means Chevrolet Experimental Racing Vehicle. And this is a 1959 that this car was made. Unveiled to the public at the Riverside International Raceway in November 1960 under the name Serve One. Okay. Serve One was developed as a research tool for the company's continuous efforts to understand automotive ride and handling phenomena under the most irrealistic conditions. The car was built at the Chevrolet Engineering Center at Warren, Michigan. Now, now they never did it. Bother call me and let me know all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. The car was built, okay, the primary, the primary function of the Serv 1 was to provide Chevrolet engineers with a test platform from which direct visual studies were made from all types of ride and handling behavior under amplified conditions. The stated function of the Serve One largely determines its concept and final configuration. In order to realistically amplify vehicle responses to handling and road stimuli, the performance capability of the vehicle must be extended far beyond that of a regular passenger cars. In other words, the high power to, to weight ratio is mandatory. By such means, suspension phenomena that are extremely subtle and thus difficult to isolate within the performance capabilities of a regular passenger car may be studied and treated quantifiably with a serve one. Under another fundamental factor in the experimental car design is the visibility afforded by the body design. The streamlined abbreviated body encloses the engine transaxial engine cooling system and provide an open cockpit for the driver from which all four wheels in contact with the ground are clearly visible. Some broad features of the Serve One are extremely lightweight to afford horsepower to weight ratio as that usually associated with high performance aircraft, rear mounted engine and a unit with a fully ratio such as usually associated with high performance aircraft. Uh, the wheelbase is 96 inches. The car weighs approximately 1,600 pounds, which is light, light, light. Wow. Ready to run. This chassis is an extremely stiff frame, a chrome molly dendum steel tubes welded into a truss like structure weighing approximately 125 pounds. The lightweight body approximately 80 pounds just for the whole body of the car. Show them that car again. It is aerodynamically styled and fully enclosed the underside of the car. The body is fabricated of a glass fiber reinforced plastic somewhat thinner than that used in the Corvette body. Uh, the, the lightweight version of the car had a 283 cubic, cubic inch engine V8 that develops 350 horsepower and weighs only 350 pounds. So that's a small weight of, of an engine and all. So you know good and well, this car is fast around the track because it is so light. Okay, this is an experimental car. Back in 1959, 1960, and we're done with this one right here. We're out of here. See, See ya. ya.